issue that I have. That shit is motherfucking racist. And then you are prowling around black areas for a week and a half, for 10 days. Now, if this shit would have happened to, let me not say this shit, if this incident would have occurred with a white man, you're not saying that you were going around prowling around white areas looking for that. That wouldn't be the case. But since it's a black man, What it do everybody? Better that it vlog life here at the J. So we're gonna call this uh job vlog, corporate vlog, whatever we wanna call it. Uh if you're new to the show, welcome. If you're a returning family member, audience member, what's up, what's good? Y'all know how I do it, y'all know how we get down. Uh Crown Royal, we need that sponsor, we waiting on it. Y'all need a new ambassador, everything is moving. New subscribers daily, new views, everything is just really, really moving. I'm not drinking right now because, again, I'm at the J, but best believe when I get home and I wind down, I will get to it. Uh, today's vlog and today's episode, one of one of my new subscribers out of uh, Seattle. So, shout out to you, Seattle Way, High West Coast, shout out to you. They sent me, um, well, she sent me an, an older woman, and she's not black. But anyway, she sent me a DM. So she sent me a DM over an article and said, you know, this is this is wrong, and you know, what are my thoughts? And she wanted me to talk to talk to y'all about it. So I'm talking to my people about it, and we're gonna get right to it. You know what I'm talking about? So I gotta talk about this Liam Neeson shit. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Liam Neeson, there's a new article that just dropped up about him, and basically he's trying to backtrack and say that he's not racist based off of uh, some old stuff that happened. So the old stuff that happened was uh, 40 years ago. So if we talking 40 years ago, we talking 79, late 70s, early 80s, but 40 years ago, he was um, having a conversation with uh, one of his one of his close friends. The close friend disclosed to him that she was raped. Raped, totally fucked up, totally wrong, totally out of line. So I'm not dismissing that. She was raped. She was raped by a black man. Again, totally wrong. We we not we not excusing none of that shit. Liam Neeson, he was mad, he was outraged. Understandable, the whole situation. But, when well, you fucked up, and Liam Neeson, you just lost a fan, when well, you fucked up in the situation, the fact that since it happened, since it occurred, my bad, heard some noise. Anyway, because y'all know I'm at the J, so you know I gotta make sure. Okay, so since it happened, when, when the situation happened and occurred, you, Liam Neeson, were so outraged that you went to black areas prowling around the streets looking for a black man to murder yes y'all motherfucking heard me right he was looking for a black person to kill not the suspect not the person that caused your friend the pain whose ass should have been in jail and who should be in jail hopefully Hopefully a motherfucker like that is in jail, if not R.I.P. Like rapists and everything, I don't ride with that, I don't fuck with that at all. So hopefully the person who did this thing, if true, because we don't assume it's true, hopefully the person who did this thing isn't in this free world. But anyway, you looking for a black person to murder. Not the suspect, not the person that caused it. You were so mad that anybody will suffice and somebody gotta pay. Liam Neeson, you're 66 now, 40 years ago, 26, 25, 24, 27, in between that age range. You knew the difference of right and wrong. But the issue that I had with the shit that you're saying is that you went on Good Morning America and you basically just talked about the situation. But you're trying to say that you're not racist. You're not saying how you grown from this, you know, apologize and this and that. I did see something about a, light, a slight apology, but... That's, you're really not apologizing. The issue that I have with this is the fact that this shit, it sounds racist as fuck. It sounds like fucking lynching. Do y'all remember what the definition of lynching or the background of lynching is the fact that um, something happens to a woman, typically. Something happens to a white woman, something sexual, sexual nature, wrong nature. And then what happens when the information comes out it angers the person, i.e. white person, white men, and they look for 
a black person to eradicate justice for or to eradicate whatever they feel that injustice that happened they're looking for a black person to make them pay for that again we're not talking about the suspect we're talking about a random person so anybody will do which means that if that was me back in the day I'm gonna do a cousin of mine could do my daddy could do grandfather yo daddy yo cousin yo best friend yo husband wrong place wrong time basically in that situation it the way Liam Neeson looked at it that whoever is dear to you and everything that person was sufficient enough to pay that's the motherfucking issue that I have that shit is motherfucking racist and then you are prowling around black areas for a week and a half for 10 days now if this shit would have happened to let me not say this shit if this incident would have occurred with a white man you're not saying that you were going around prowling around white areas looking for that that wouldn't be the case but since it's a black man you're going to black areas and you're just looking for somebody to get the smoke you're looking for somebody to where you can dish out a l2 that is very fucking racist no question like you can't try to spin this to be like well you know no no that's fucking racist like that's some shit you really should have kept to yourself like why you chose to say that shit i have no motherfucking idea that shit just deserves like like bro you can't come back from that at least not with me at least now i know who you are and now i know how to operate with your ass whenever some of your movies or anything that you touch comes about Oh, Michelle, my Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah, come on, bring your ass this way. Let me go ahead and rake your ass over the motherfucking coals too. Michelle Rodriguez told somebody, yeah. And Michelle Rodriguez, for you, for those of you who don't know, she was the the lady opposite Van Diesel in all of the Fast and Furious movies. Letty. She came to Liam Neeson's defense, and this is why you need to watch. Motherfuckers, you need to come to their defense or watch who you defend. She came to Liam Neeson's defense. And she says that Liam Neeson isn't racist because of the way he kissed Viola Davis in the new movie that they have coming out called Widows or the movie they just dropped called Widows. So he isn't racist because of the way he kissed and he kissed Viola Davis and that he had her tongue in his his tongue in her mouth. And anybody that does that isn't racist. Michelle, do you know how stupid that shit sounds? Do you know how ignorant, how asinine that sounds? Let me educate you on something. There are plenty of people that are racist that work with people that they do not like or people they would not prefer to work with. Liam Neeson is an actor, a paid actor. He wasn't kissing Viola Davis for free. He wasn't doing it on his leisure time. He kissed Viola Davis because he's an actor and he was paid to do so. Let's not make it seem like he was doing voluntary work. And this whole just because you kiss somebody that you can't, it's impossible for you to be racist. Tell that shit to specifically talking about black people tell that shit to their great grandmother or their great great grandparents who are of biracial descent you do know that slave owners were raping and fucking their slaves wives and having children like you do remember all them biracial children and we finna grow through pictures like you you do recognize that right Tell that shit to them. Tell that shit to their children of lighter skin tones to where they were teased and, and this and that. Why don't you ask them if after they had, after they, they were raped and they had a child, ask them if they got to stay in the big house. Ask them how it would feel to no longer be a slave. Because none of that shit you're saying is true because they were still slaves they they didn't get treated any different they didn't get treated better they didn't get better meals 
they were still motherfucking slaves and the owners were still racist. The only thing the owners were doing, they were using their racism, they were using their power to take advantage of a group of people that couldn't fight back. So that whole, just because he kissed somebody, he can't be racist. Oh no, these motherfuckers, they were racist hundreds of years back and still fucking their slaves. And they had pure hatred. Let's not make it seem like clan members, if they fuck around and get somebody of another race, another woman of another race, that they won't um, violate you or violate somebody that looks like you of Spanish descent, Michelle. Let's be clear, like, just because a person is racist doesn't mean that it draws a line as far as um, out of line things that they won't do sexually to somebody else of another descent. Like, there's just too much stuff out there that shows that a person can clearly be racist and they can have so much hatred for one particular race, but yet and still, they can engage in different acts with that person and still be 100% of the belief that they are of a dominant race, that the person underneath them isn't worth their time or, or whatever that whole situation is. Like... That shit makes no sense. But I'm going to get my ass back to the J. Y'all comment below. Y'all let me know if I'm looking at this crazy or whatever. But, yeah. Like, that shit made no sense. But we're going to get to a bit of daddy vlog like H-Time. Know what I'm talking about? Yeah.